Staff from St. Hubert's arrived at the home in Wantage and confronted a cat crisis. 200 felines living in filth. Their owner, elderly, widowed, and desperate, had called for help. He spoke to rescuer Jeff Ira. The gentleman is devastated. It's not the fact that he's ashamed, I would imagine, because he's a proud man, a proud man. You know, so all this comes out and you're like, oh, I did something wrong. No, he did the right thing. He knew that he was not doing right by them. Um, and he knew that he couldn't anymore um, due to age and, and frailty. Um, and uh, so he, while he tried a few tears, the few, few cats that left, he knew that that was what he had to do. St. Hubert's Animal Welfare Center took all 200, cleared one of its four facilities to house them all. The agency had promised not to shame the man. He felt empowered to come out to us as opposed to regressing, hiding in the shadows, feeling that embarrassment, perhaps that uh, persecution, and we wanted to ensure that he was going to do the right thing by the animals, which was surrender them to us. The Animal Legal Defense Fund estimates some 250,000 animals, mostly cats and dogs, are victims of hoarding every year and say 72 percent of hoarders are women. About half hoard other things besides animals. It's a psychiatric disorder that affects four to six percent of the population, experts say. They think that they're caring for the animals. They truly believe that the animals are better off in their care. They do not see that they're neglecting animals. They do not see that the animals are dying, dying, starving. What the animals mean to them is so strong that they often resist help because they think they're protecting the animals. So even when animal control comes in, um, a lot of times there's a resistance. There needs to be a, some sort of court order to remove the animals. In this case, the man's late wife had started collecting cats, Dr. Karen Dashfield said. After she died, he fed and watered the cats, but quickly became overwhelmed. Most of the kitties are in decent health. They're responding to gentle therapy. But St. Hubert's is asking the public and lawmakers for support. Perhaps there's legislation that can be uniform throughout the state for cross-reporting to ensure that there is uh, mental health professionals that can assist folks that are in these situations. Even with treatment experts say hoarders tend to be repeat offenders about 100% of the time, and that's why friends, family, and officials need to stay on top of the situation to be sure they don't end up with a repeat crisis. At St. Hubert's in Ledgewood, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.